right, so here's the former world title challenger, the Black Beast, Derek Lewis. Of course, you have shared the octagon with this man, and they don't pack much more power than this guy in this heavyweight division. No, some guys are blessed with a power that's just jarring. And Derek Lewis is one of those guys. He's so big, he's so strong, he's deceptively quick when he's in there, and he's unbelievably athletic. He will throw double kicks, and you think that he's going up with the left leg, but then the right leg lands, he throws the right hand from anywhere, and the moment he lands, he can put your lights out. And it does not matter the time of the round, yeah. Derek Luce can finish you at any moment in the fight. And he's a guy who's also been a real workhorse for the UFC, he made his debut back in 2014. He did have a recent knee surgery. Let's see how he comes out of it here tonight. This is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, He's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee ready to go, and so are we for our co-main event of the evening. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, here now the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Derek the Black Beast Lewis. And now he's the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. One of the best in the business, Ready, Herb fight. Dean, is our referee Ready. tonight. Good. Derek Lewis, a throwback heavyweight in a lot of respects. Yeah. Everything he throws is a... There, somehow, his opponent stayed up there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Cable into right there. Checks the leg kick. Well, it seems like there has been an opening for that overhand all night long. Let's see if he goes back to it here. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. This big punch lands through the middle. Lee's forehead is bleeding now. Cut is open. So Lewis is circling towards the left now. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. I mean, right away, no feeling out process. These boys just went and started fighting. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, nice body shot. Keep your hands up, use your footwork now. It's okay. 
beautiful jab there by the champ. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. It's okay. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Derek Lewis. Lead kick is true there by Lee. Now lands a kick to the body. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Beautiful shot lands the leg. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end muscle. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. Fighter lands a kick now and a pretty good one at that. Strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Oh my goodness. Misses with the jab there. Under two minutes to go now in our opening round. Big power shot there. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the big strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will be Again, he's looking for that. Both tough, both durable. Both unwilling to take a step back. What a phenomenal fight. That is, oh man, this dude is good. Very fast, like King Lance. Well, he rocked him, but he couldn't finish him. He rocked him, he hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, he's tasked with trying to find that shot again. Lewis, his nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. All right, so as advertised thus far, as these fighters continue to trade strikes. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Lee. Final seconds of round one. shot there just before you heard the horn so he gets saved by the bell the question is though what type of condition will he be in when he gets up off that stool 60 seconds here to recover the onus is on his corner to keep his head in the foot all right there's the end of the round so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it yeah that was a big moment a big strike lands his opponents on wobbly legs that is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. All right, so here we go. The crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. We saw the previous round. Both fighters got rocked. I don't think the scorecards are going to be needed for this one. No, the scorecard will not be needed. If we continue to fight as we did in the previous round, somebody is going to see. Ooh, what a punch. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beach Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Let's go. Oh. Nice. Lewis's nose is just 
pouring blood right now. I'm no doctor, Daniel, but I'm not sure that thing isn't broken right now. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of... He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Slips. So Lewis's eye is closing up now. Not good for him. Lined it up. Ooh, big shot land. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Three minutes to go. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those bubbles. Right there, the of the fight. And it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that upper jump. Oh! Rips the body. Oh. And how much more can he take? Oh. Every time he lands, the cut gets worse. What a great job recognizing his easiest path to victory. Keep those hands up for me. Keep those hands high. There it is. Now he's going to mouth. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by the Black Beast. Another ground and pound strike lands. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Under two minutes to go. Making all these shots count. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Lewis. Well, until his opponent adjusts, you might as well keep... Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. A series of punches from the top here by Lewis. He's got to start throwing down. starting to make these shots count. All right, looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Lands the ground and pound strike. And another, another strike from the top, lands for So that cut continues to get more severe with every passing moment of the fight. Every moment. You know, when you get cut in a fight, you expect for it to worsen because you're not going to not get hit anymore. All right, so the ref is going to step in here and call on the doctor to look at what is a now mangled nose. This could be the end of the fight. It could be the end of the fight. There's a lot of blood. The blood's going down into the mouth. I mean, the nose could be broken. All right, so the doctor talking to the referee, and it looks as though the fight's going to continue. He's got to go for it now, though. That cut's not going to get any better. It is not going to get any better. Now he's got to take some chances. He's got to go out on his Ready shield fight. if he's going to go Ready. out, because if he gets to the next round, Ready. I'm not sure he'll get to go out again. All right, well, this fighter was bullish in his desire to continue, and the doctor is going to afford him that opportunity as the referee gets us back on the way. This guy's a fighter, man. This guy doesn't want to lose a fight on the stool. He wants an opportunity to go out there and go out on his shield. That's exactly what he's getting. He's getting a chance, and as a fighter, that's all you can ask for. And you know fans don't like Dr. Stoppages, so they are thrilled. They start booing. And sometimes guys' eye is hanging off the side uh -huh. of his head. So Lewis's cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. Final seconds here of round two. Oh, big diving Big, big shots landed by him now. Ten minutes in the camp. All right, back to the stools we go, and that is a really severe cut, so we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in there.
All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth, but the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? You ready to fight? Ready. Rounds of a possible foul. Nice move with Bunch. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. So Lewis's nose is unrecognizable. It is mangled. He's a few strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. That's it. Let's do it. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 33 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed martial arts. And candidly, thus far, few men have succeeded. This just might have been Bruce Lee's best performance.